My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a hot number right here. This thing's frame off restored. Make sure you go to our website and look underneath. It's gloss black. It looks brand new. It's beautiful. It's got a 383 stroker claimed to be putting out about 450 horsepower, overdrive trans, posi rear end, vintage air, show quality, beautiful car. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can see all those pictures, read the description and you'll find a price tag on every one of our cars for sale along with the monthly finance option as well. That's at volocars.com. If you like the video, subscribe and click on the bell icon so you're notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me, let's go for a spin. Yep, 1973 Camaro, clean rust-free car, beautiful color, nice stance, love the fat tires and the wheel combination. I, I, I really like this one. Uh, so like I said, underneath, the floors are immaculate. The braces, the floors, the rockers, and all painted a smooth gloss black. All the chassis, the front suspension and A-arms, all that's painted gloss black. And everything's fresh looking. Uh, all the front end is rebuilt. The bushings, the steering, components, uh, ball joints, all of it's been redone. Uh, it's got new subframe bushings because the body was off the frame. Has frame connectors to keep it from twisting. Has tubular adjustable uh, traction bars. The leaf springs and all the bushings look new. The shocks look new. Uh, it's got a really nice dual exhaust system, uh, fat exhaust. Uh, Willwood disc brakes up front. Rear drum brakes are rebuilt. It has stainless steel brake lines and fuel lines. Uh, E-brake is hooked up. Uh, the gas tank is all shiny and new looking. The sending unit is new. Uh, you look up at the motor. It's got a big extra capacity uh, oil pan. It looks like a high torque mini starter. Uh, turbo, not a turbo. A 200R4 overdrive automatic is fresh. Is a finned aluminum pan on the bottom of it. New aluminum drive shaft going to a rebuilt rear end with 373 Posi gears in it. So again, underneath this car is awesome. You know what else is awesome? The body and this color. Uh, this is show quality. Absolutely, this is pristine. I'm looking at the reflection of our light fixtures and it, it's like a, a mirror. Uh, so the body itself, it's a, a cowl hood, metal, absolutely straight. I don't see any dents. I don't see any damage, rust, bubbles, cracks, body work. I don't see any of that. Absolutely straight. I mean really straight. The gaps are right on, smooth, right down to the bottom. And as we were talking, I noticed the dimples. Those are the factory spot welds. Uh, usually you don't see them. They've been replaced or bonded over or fiberglass, but the factory dimples are there. Uh, you only see that on rust-free cars. All of this mint, pristine, all the way down to the bottom. Here's the dimples on this side. No bubbles, no cracks, no damage, no body work. I'm really, really liking this. This is extremely nice uh, body. The paint is just as good. The metal flake is laid out evenly. There's no blotchy areas or cloudy areas. Uh, and it has a clear coat that is polished like glass. I refrain from ever using the word perfect, but I'm gonna tell you this is extremely nice. Fit and finish, uh, 10 plus. Uh, they put a split bumper on the front. Bumpers have been Rechrome the grill, everything up here looks really good. It's got a lower spoiler. The emblem is new, so all that looks real nice. I don't even see stone chips or anything. Professional restoration shop next door, I kid you not, their paint jobs start at $25,000. I'm not talking about a whole restoration. I'm talking about paint job. And 
it's going to not look any better than this. Uh, this is this is uh, impressive. <laughs> Um, it's got the sport mirrors, the windshield's crystal clear. I'm sure that's new. New rubber, new door handles. Uh, the glass is tinted. The back window is really dark. I don't see any scratches or anything like that. I like that they uh, left the spoiler black. That's pretty cool. Tail lights, bumper, all that looks real nice. So, uh, yeah, uh, tires and wheels. Looks like it has some sort of street. Uh, slick tire, they're Nitto tires, Legend Series wheels. Uh, yep, tire's a lot fatter in back. I like the stance. I like the fat, bulgy tire. They're BF Goodrich in front. So yeah, really, uh, I'm digging this car. Let's open it up, see what it looks like inside. So I was just in here looking at the trunk. I believe this is the uh, original mat, the insulated mat, and underneath here, this is the original trunk spatter paint. That's not the type you get out of a spray can. So, again, we're talking about a rust-free car here. It's nice, clean, original metal, including the quarter panels. The amazing paint job continued right in here. The jam, the seams. I mean, come on, that's there's the part number. These seams are perfect. I'm liking this car more and more. And uh, I just confirmed the side glass is new too, and it's smoked. It's not as dark as the rear window, but it's not a stick on tint. They're smoked glass windows. Yep, door jams are painted just as slick as the outside bottom of the door. That lip is crisp and clean. Door panel, upper and lower, all of it's mint. The door handle, the window crank. So the dash pad's really nice. These were known to really curl and warp. You got a little bit of a bump here, but this is a really nice dash pad. All the uh, instruments are real good. Does have the tachometer, no tilt wheel. A retro stereo fits in the factory hole. Uh, it looks like a temperature gauge there. The vents are in good shape. Low box liner works. Carpets replaced. Has a B&M slapstick shifter. The center console is real nice. So the seats have nice firm cushion. They're in excellent shape. They've been redone. Back seats are reupholstered. All the plastic trim throughout is excellent. Got some big 6x9 speakers in the back. Headliner looks like new. The dome light works. I'm a liar. There's a, a split right here in the door in the headliner. The rest of it looks real nice. So yeah, really nice, uh, nice interior. I really like the color more than. You would think if you described the color to me, I, I don't think I'd like it as much as actually seeing it in person. And the fantastic paint job continues right into the jams here. So when I say it looks fresh, I mean the orange paint on the motor, uh, the highly polished intake, the polished Edelbrock carb. It's got some nice uh, fuel lines, braided lines and regulator, all nice stuff there. Uh, it's got a Mallory uh, HEI ignition on the back of the motor. Some nice aluminum valve covers, some nice coated headers, chrome uh, AC compressor, chrome water pump, aluminum pulleys. We got power steering, a chrome alternator. And the AC lines run behind the fenders. There's some sort of fancy bushings in the uh, control arms here. They got grease fittings on the bushings. That's nice. Uh, chrome master cylinder with a cadmium plated booster. The wiring all looks real nice. The shroud looks real nice. Got a, a red top battery, transmission cooler. This thing's really nice.
Yeah, so I'm telling myself how much I like this car. Uh, it is a vintage air system. It says vintage air on the controls right there. Uh, it has Lloyd mats. They're nice, thick, plush mats front and back. It has all the seat belts. All the metal surfaces are just smooth and clean anywhere you look or touch. Uh, nice car. Really like it. Go to volocars.com. I gave you my impression. Talk to the salesman. They'll help you the best they can. And they can help get this delivered to your driveway. And they can help you finance it as well at volocars.com. Really hoping you like the videos. Subscribe. Click the bell icon so you can be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.